Hey everyone, welcome back in Dialerai here. So this is it guys. Today is my US citizenship interview at USAS Denver around 8.45 a.m. So right now it's 7.30. I'm actually waiting for my husband. He's getting ready. So he's going to drive me over there because I don't trust myself driving in the city. So I'm still scared. USCIS is just like 20 to 30 minutes away from the house. So we have a lot of time. And I also have my documents here with me, my passports, old and new green card, driver's license, and other supporting documents. So if you watched my previous video, the documents that I submitted online are the same documents that I'm gonna bring with me during the interview. Um, I'm a little bit nervous and excited at the same time so I'm not sure if I'll pass or fail the interview so wish me luck guys and I'll see you later! Finally, it's all over now. So today I'm gonna share with you guys my N400 application for naturalization interview. So a lot of you have been waiting for this video, especially to Mr. Lloyd. I know you've been waiting for this. So shout out to you and thank you so much for your help also. So around 8.30 in the morning, we went into the USAS building, but uh, because of the COVID restrictions, my husband wasn't able to come in with me, so he has to wait for me in the car. If you have had any uh, interviews before at a USCIS, uh, you probably know the drill by now. The security guards will ask for an appointment letter and for an ID, and then they will ask you to put your things in an x-ray, and then you have to go through a metal detector scanner door. And after that, um, I went to the receptionist and I gave her my appointment letter and then she scanned the barcode in the appointment letter. This one, she scanned this one. And then after that, she told me to sit down and wait for an officer to call my name. I've waited for like 20 minutes before an officer called my name from her window. So unlike for my green card interview, my green card interview took place in a closed office, but this time the N400 interview happened in an open area. So the officer was sitting behind her window and I was sitting like just right behind the waiting area. So you can really hear if people are talking and people coming in and out of the reception. But since that time, there weren't many people, so I wasn't really distracted during my interview. So I approached her window and then she greeted me first and then I greeted her back. And then after that, she asked me to sit down. And also she asked for my passports, green card, and driver's license. And she did something on her computer for a while. And then after a few minutes, she asked me to stand up for the sworn testimony. You have to stand up, raise your right hand, and follow what she's saying. I solemnly swear that I will tell the truth and nothing but the truth. And then after that, she asked me to sit down again. And then the officer chose to give me the tests first. And then she explained to me the procedures of the test. So the first one will be the civics test. And I have to answer six questions out of ten. And then the reading test and then the writing test. So for the civics questions, here are the questions that she asked me in particular order. So the first one was, 
what is the supreme law of the land? And then answer is the Constitution. And then number two, who does the U.S. Senator represent? So the answer is all people of the state. Next, we elect U.S. Senator for how many years? The answer is six years. Next, in what month do we vote for president? Answer is November. Next, what are the two major political parties in the United States? Answer, Democratic and Republican Party. Next, what did Susan B. Anthony do? Answer, fought for women's rights. So, I answered six questions right away. So she said that, hey, you're doing good. <laughs> so, and then after that is the reading test. So there's actually a tablet in front of me. She said, all I have to do is to read the sentence in front of me. So I don't have to answer it. Just read the sentence that's on the screen. So the sentence was, um, how many U.S. senators are there? So that's it for the reading test. And then the next one is the writing test. So um, there's a stylus pen beside the tablet. So she asked me to pick up the stylus pen and write down on the tablet what she's about to say. So she said, Alaska is the largest state. So I have to write Alaska is the largest state on the tablet. So that's it for the U.S. citizenship tests. And after that, uh, she said that she will need to verify some information on my application. If there are any changes, uh, I just have to tell her so she can update the information in the system. This is the N-400 form. So she really asked like almost of the questions in the form. So she verified my name, uh, birth date. If I want to change my name, I can do that too, like my last name. And then she also asked for my country of birth, country of citizenship. And she also asked this part three accommodations for individuals with disabilities and or impairments. And then she also asked for my telephone number and my address and she also asked if my parents are u.s citizens she asked for my employment history and she also asked for the time outside of the united states and also information about your marital history so actually i made a minor mistake in my um form so the question here how many times have you been married so i put i'm i'm not sure i can't remember what i put in here it, it's either none or zero because i was thinking that how many times have you been married before like not including the current marriage so i guess i put none or zero and then she she told me that it should be one including the current marriage so I just didn't read the questions carefully but she said it's just a minor mistake there's nothing to worry about it doesn't mean that I will not be approved she said that she will update the information in the system and then also she asked all the questions in part 12 like have you ever claimed to be a US citizen so yeah, um, she probably asked all the questions in this form. So I would suggest that before going to your interview, guys, please review your N-400 application form because I actually made mistakes answering her questions. But she was cool. She just laughed at me because I can't actually remember the dates and the year. After the asking questions from this form, she gave me this one. So I'm just gonna show this to the screen. It says here, you passed the English test and the U.S. history and government test. Congratulations, your application has been recommended for approval. And after that, she gave me a piece of paper that I have to sign and then I gave it back to her. And then after that, she told me that she has two options for me. So the first option was 
um, if I want to wait for a letter in the mail for my oath taking ceremony schedule and then the second option was she can do the naturalization ceremony like right now like right there and then so I told her that uh, let's do it now so I don't have to go back so she asked me to stand up and we did the oath of allegiance and then after that she gave me this envelope so in this envelope there's a pamphlet and then there's the um, oath of allegiance the star spangled banner and pledge of allegiance and then there's also the congratulations on becoming a u.s citizen and also the um this one and also it comes with a u.s passport application form but I don't have it here now and this naturalization certificate and she also gave me this tiny flag and that's it guys it was not difficult it's actually pretty easy if you study hard and then she told me that congratulations she asked me if I have any questions I can ask her but I actually asked her if she could take photos of me because my husband wasn't there to take photos of me so she did and then yeah that's it everybody there was congratulating me the security guards giving me fist bumps for my timeline for my u.s naturalization so i filed november 11th 2021 and then november 11th it says we are actively reviewing your Form N-400 application for naturalization, our records showed nothing is outstanding. And at the same date, they also reused my biometrics, November 11th, 2021. And then January 3, 2022, we scheduled an interview for your Form N-400 application for naturalization. And then February 9th, we recommend that your Form N-400 application for naturalization be approved your case was submitted for quality review and then the same date february 9th your form n400 application for naturalization was placed in line for oath taking ceremony schedule and then the same date we scheduled you for an oath ceremony for your form n400 application for naturalization and the same date february 9th 2022 certificate of naturalization was issued <music>